County Soccer Complex, where we're finishing up the first day of Boy State Soccer. We have the most Eastern Iowa teams, five of them, in fact, in the Class 1A bracket. So let's start there with Hudson taking on Regina. The Regal fans know their way around Des Moines. The eight-time state champs are aggressive against the Pirates. Jack Hoover with a slide to Quinn Warren. Senior to senior connection, and Warren's left footer gets Regina rolling. They roll all the way to a 3-0 shutout. The Regals are heading to the semifinals. A lot of these guys have been in state for a while. I mean, my class is a big class, and we've we've gotten guys to state before, so we have confidence in ourselves, and I think it's it's good that we have that background. Teams know of Regina in 1A, so it's good. Fifth-seeded West Liberty with their fifth tournament appearance in a row, trying to avenge a loss to defending state champs Western Christian. Bruce Sanga lights up the scoreboard with a left-footed strike. Absolute beauty into the corner. Western Christian gets one back, and we needed extra time. And late in that extra time period, off the rebound, Sanga again. The senior cashes in the golden goal. West Liberty with a 2-1 win. Everything it worked for, he finally paid off. This was what we wanted. Everyone doubted us, but we're here. We'll be the champs. We're happy to be here. Also in 1A, North Fayette Valley searching for their first ever tournament win. They're facing West Sioux. Andre Fuentes with the penalty kick. He gives it a ride, and after the great save, he follows up the rebound for the score. Tiger Hawks and Falcons trade goals. A late effort is halted by Trey Frieden. The keeper squeezes the ball and the win. Tiger Hawks are taking their first ever trip to the state semis. We kind of knew the level that we had to be at, and so we just kind of kept pushing every year, or every day, excuse me. But yeah, we've earned this. The 1A top seed West Branch in action against Van Meter. The Bears just had no answer for incredible goals like this. The header puts West Branch down 2-0. A late goal was not enough in their second trip to state. The Bears are upset in the quarters 3-1. In 4A now, last year's runner-up West High facing West Des Moines Valley. An aggressive start. Daniel Fuentes getting the penalty kick, and the striker buries it. He is heading right into your living room as the Trojans take the lead. They add to it with Kalab Wendy. He gets into the box, boots it to the back of the net. Trojans kick their way into the semis with a 4-2 win. I mean, Daniel passed me a good pass. I kept going. I, I, was, I wanted to shoot it earlier, but they blocked every shot. So I, and, like, I just fake shot him and passed it to the net. And finally, eight-seed City High taking on defending champions Johnston as the sun sets, a freshman shines. Seth Zeithamel buries a shot to make it 1-0. Later in a 1-1 game, Gabe Eglund puts one home. The Little Hawks were ready for an upset, but number one Johnston makes the comeback in extra time, winning it 3-2. Quite a busy day, and that's just the half of it. For earlier highlights from Scott on classes 2A and 3A, you can check them out on our...